Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 16 of the Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today. Uh, today's farm. Today, I've done uh, basically n nothing, just a little bit busy, a little bit tired. Um, I went to the Knicks, uh, sorry, I went to the Yankees game and I just finished watching the Warriors game. Uh, very exciting games. Uh, let me know if you're watching the NBA and who you're rooting for and who you're going to think will win, which may not be the same. Uh, I, I'm a Knicks fan first because of New York, but uh, yeah, so I'm winning for the Knicks, but if they don't win, I'm winning for the Warriors on the other side, so we'll see how that goes. Um, probably say that every year, so uh, we'll see. Anyway, let's take a look at today's farm. We have 25, 37 count the number of good subways. We're always counting good subways. Why don't we, we ever count bad subways? And there's some good buyers over here, you know? <laughs> no, I'm, I don't know. I'm just kidding. Anyway, all right, let's take a look. You're given an integer array nums and an integer k. We turn the number of good subarray. Okay. A subarray is good if there are at least k pairs of indices i, j, such that i is less than j and i is equal to j. Okay. I mean, it's just, um, oh, I gotta sneeze. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. oh my god, I got more. Sorry, but... Uh, sorry, friends. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, so K is what? At least K pairs. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. This could be a potentially tricky one. First thing to note, though, is that I'm sneezing a lot. I have so crazy allergies. Um, or maybe just a cold. I don't know. We'll see. Um. <laughs> uh, sorry, friends. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, I don't even remember the question anymore. I sneezed it out of my head. Okay. Uh, this seems a little bit tricky. Uh, the good number of good arrays. Um, here, the key thing to note is that we have, um, you know, this this follows the um, n choose or n times n plus one over two rule kind of thing. Um, so we we should be give up about that. So I'm off screen. I'm like half sneezing, but I guess it didn't come this time. Um, right. Um, there are a couple of ideas that I'm thinking of, uh, some uh, around either, so I'm thinking of either some sort of sweep line or some kind of segment merging with unions merge or something like that, or um, other things. I haven't really decided yet, honestly. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Unless I'm misreading some of it. Uh, let's see. Uh, and obviously, uh, n square is not fast enough. We have to do something better than that. Um, and we have to kind of... These are kind of tricky ad hoc problems that we've done the last couple of days. But uh, yeah. Um, here, I guess, is a standard case. I don't even know if it's worth analyzing. I'm just kind of looking at this example, right? Um, and honestly, right now, I do not know the answer. Um, but... Mm, I'm trying to think right now whether we can do uh, which for medium form is kind of w rude, but uh, maybe I'm just not being quite uh, smart today. Mm. 
Um, because the way that I usually think about these kind of problems or similar is just having a distribution or a contribution. Sorry, right? Like for example, if one is the last subarray. How? F oh, I guess that is okay. Maybe that is the idea then, right? Uh, the way I did that I have is that I. Um, You know, we have this idea of contribution, right? Meaning that, okay, so for every element, let's say that element is the last element of a subarray, then how far extend do you have to go to to have at least two pairs, right? Or k pairs. And once you pass that, everything to the left of it is good. Um, the problem is that um, if you do it in that naive way, and I don't know that I said it correctly, but if you do able to do it that naive way, it's going to be n squared, right? Because you basically go, okay, let's say for this, this uh, input, three is the last element. Can we do three and four? No, that's, we don't have enough pairs. One and four and three, no, we don't have enough pairs. Three, one, four, and three, we have one pair, right? And so forth. Um, and and of course, that's not a good subarray then as a result, right? Uh, let's say we do the same thing with uh, this two, right? Two, no, we only have, we have no subarray. Two, two, well, we have one subarray. And here, we still have only one, uh, sorry, one good array. Uh, here we only have one good array, one good array, one good array, uh, or one good pair, sorry. Two good pairs. I'm saying using all the wrong terms. The sneezing really destroyed me. I, I thought I was doing well mentally, but then now I'm just like a little bit gone. But in any case, here, only at the very last thing do you realize there's a pair. So uh, um, a sketch of a, an idea would be that for each number, we say, okay, this is the number that is the end of a subarray. How far can do we have to go before we can reach it, right? And if we can't just do what I said, which is one at a time, well, that's going to be n squared. You know, uh, no bueno, right? Nothing you can do about that one per se. Um, or is there? Well, I mean, by itself, that um, you have to do a little bit better, right? Sorry, I'm still half sneezing so much. Like, try to be able to breathe. Um, but th then the question is, can we come up with a way to pre-process things in a way such that we satisfy, right? And I don't know. I'm trying to think. I don't see any obvious ways. Because one idea, idea that you might have is binary search, right? But here, to, to process a binary search, you still need to go for all the arrays uh maybe so, but i don't see an intuitive way of doing it which makes it um maybe not quite the way to do it um right <clears throat> for binary search but of course you can i guess do a sliding window thing right so here i guess that must be it right is instead of that that's kind of a tricky thing but instead of sliding window with um instead of a sliding window with counting the bounds that are good we count the bounds that are not good right basically what we're sliding on for example let's say we have actually this subarray instead of sliding on counting the number of um or instead of sliding on um counting what's the left boundary in which it makes it a good subarray, we can go the last boundary where it does not have enough subarrays, right? Um, so that means that here, in in a sense, you have a you have a left pointer here, and then when you extend the right pointer, you go you update the number of pairs, and if the number of pairs is too good, too many, then you update the left pointer, right? And when you update the left pointer in a sliding window kind of way, then now the invariant, and that's the key, invariant is that the window we keep will have fewer than and k number of good subarrays. Um, and as long as we do that, then we are able to count, because to the left of this point, that means that everything to the left is the number of um, good subarrays that you have because everything to the right of it is not with this contribution as your last endpoint. I think that's fine, right? So yeah, so let's say we have sliding window, right? 
um, we have um, maybe seen is uh, eh, can I type eh. right so seen is the number of elements uh, number of each element inside the window right so something like that right and then so then now we want to add right right so right we so that means that when we see this number uh oh whoops we see this number num sub right what, what happens right that means that we want to make a pair of, to all the previous numbers that we've seen so then maybe we have uh pairs inside the window right so here pairs we increment by this right because the number of well sorry whoops because the numbers that we have seen previously is equal to the um, number of pairs that we're making, right? Um, yeah. And then now we, I don't know, I haven't decided where, you know, we, we implement here or not. I think we do though. But in any case, yeah. Then now we go while pairs is greater than or equal to K, then we move left so that we shrink it so that the window is actually um has fewer the number of okay number of pairs sorry not keep calling it number of pairs right um and again we also have total which is the we we saw that return but here while pairs is greater than k we go scene num sub left uh subtract by one and then left increment by one but we have to do something to pairs right so let we let's think right so let's say we have five pairs of we have five X is in the middle, uh, inside, or five of twos, right? So we remove one, that means that we remove four pairs, right? Because you have four left, with, uh, and you remove one of them, so you remove four, right? So that means that uh, we subtract one first, and then pairs, we, sub, uh, we do this, right? And I think that's good. And then total, we just add it by left, because left... Remember, left is um, the num the window in the index in which the window will have fewer than the number of pairs. So you could do, the way that I want to think about it or kind of get you to visualize it. Just pick a number, right? So if left is at uh, index two, say, right? I don't know if left is like on index two. That means that the two numbers to the left which is how, why I, I did it this way, right? Because to the left, that means that on your right boundary, um, this is a good subarray and this is a good subarray, right? So that's basically the idea. I don't know why this is medium though. It feels a little hard, but maybe I'm just being bad today. Maybe I did sneeze a little bit too hard. Uh, let's give a quick submit. Uh, and yeah, and that's pretty much it. Maybe there's an easier way though. Uh, but yeah, so what's the complexity here, right? It's actually end up doing linear time, li Linear space, linear space due to the counter, but everything else is just linear time, right? Um, keeping in mind that here, uh, left can only go up to n times, so the total of these loops will just be O of n, and this is O of n in an amortized kind of way. So yeah, how did I do it last time? In last year? I guess I did mostly the same idea, though I got, well, this is the wrong answer. Because uh, they don't show you the results because I guess it's too long ago. But I probably just fix some typo afterwards. I don't know how, why sometimes this pops off on the left and sometimes to the right. It's very confusing. <coughs> but yeah, but I probably fixed like the typo or something like that. Uh, I don't even use found. So I don't know what that's about. Maybe I try to do it. I don't know. It doesn't matter what happened last time. But yeah, uh, so actually mostly the same idea, mostly the same code. So yeah, uh, that's all I have for today. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.